I'm gonna go a Roman, go a Roman all my days. For I love to be a Roman, for the low and cattle graze. Oh, a train's no good for Roman, and I'm shaking in my bones. All it does is go when I say, Whoa, better send for Casey Jones. On the way I'll go with a yip 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 On the lone prairie where a life is free, a Roman I will be. I'm at home when I'm a-riding, any creature on the range. But the riding on a prey doggone strange. Oh, I reckon I can't ride it like I do my pony paint. Gotta hang on tight or else I might be going where it ain't. Oh, the way I go with a yo On the long prairie where the life is free, a Roman I will be. I'm a Roman, yes, I'm a Roman, but I've got my own uh, shirt. The way this critter's a bucking, I'm due to hit the dirt. I have waved all kinds of broncos from the border to Seattle. I could ride this train from here to Spain, but I had my spurs and saddle. Oh, the way I'll go with the yippee-yi-yo, with the yippee 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 yo On the lone prairie where the light is free, a Roman I will be. I'm a-riding and a-rolling on a shiny stretch of rail. It's the first time I've gone riding that I didn't lose the trail. I'm a-riding and a-roaming on a new kind of caillou. Where a nag his nose, a whistle blows, his tail's a red gaboo. Oh, the way I go with yip 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 On the long prairie where life is free, a roaming I will be. Oh, Where the life is free, a Roman I will be. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. Doggone my heart, sir. If that wasn't real harmony, then I ain't never heard none. Yeah, that, that is pretty good, Anna. Now. That's pretty good. Pretty good nothing. Why, it is doing my perfect. <laughs> Watch that peewee there. He went kind of sour a couple of times. <laughs> this rat was giving me the jitters. Say, why did we have to come this way? Well, I thought maybe Pee Wee would travel the rail and we make it a chance to see the ghost train. Well, this is it, boy. I'll take it in and ask. What are you trying to do? Well, he said to hurry. Oh, Pee Wee. Pee Wee, you go tend to the horses. Take this with you. I want to take a look around. Well, what'll I do? You stay here and uh, practice going up down the boxcar. Yeah, I practice. Oh, Ted. Hey, we can unload that stock right here. Mm -hmm. Look, did you ever see them guys before, Cheyenne? Strangers to me, Patsy. How about you, Hank? There's something familiar looking about that tall bird. I've seen him someplace for him. So have I. And I don't like his looks. If they know us from somewhere, it ain't going to be safe around here. I think we better ride him out of town quick. Hey, you. Now, where do you guys think you're going? And a nice. The man's been eating garlic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty smart, ain't you? No, just kind of fussy, that's all. So are we, Fussy, about who gets off here. Now, what business have you got in Sandman City, mister? I'm curious. Yeah, mighty curious. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen. If you and your overstuffed pal knows what's good for you, you'll grab that freight train and keep it going. You know, Ananias, every time I hear a man talking like that, 
people controlling my trigger fingers. They want to do things. <laughs> yeah, my feet are the same way. Uh, they want to go places. All right. You have sport. <laughs> Boys. One at a time. There's your hat. The next time you talk to the Pakers kid, remove it. And say, sir, so I'll know you's only kidding. Are you the Pakers kid? You heard me take off your hat. Now say, excuse me, sir. Ah. Uh, say it. Excuse me, sir. That's better. Now, boys, you can get. Don't come in my line of fire again, or I might forget myself. Goodbye, boys. Goodbye, boys. Say, they don't waste any time around here, do they? We got our reception from the welcoming committee a little sooner than I expected. We sure did. But it didn't bother me none. Well, let's move along, Ananas. We got a lot of work to do. So that's the baker's kid. Yeah. He sure laid it on to you. Don't fool yourself. He got me this time. The next time it'll be different. I'll rip him apart. Better have your hat off when you do. He's the toughest outlaw in this country. We gotta go see the old man. Come on. Wait out here. I'll be right back. I'd like to see the president of this outfit. I'm sorry, but the president isn't seeing anyone today. At his office? Yes. I'm sorry, but you can't see that. You can't go in there. He'll see me, all right. Hey, how many secretaries have to see around here before I can find the president of this railroad? What do you mean by coming in like this? Never mind that. Tell the president I want to see you. I am the president. You? But I thought uh, Tom Jeffers was... Tom Jeffers was my father. He, he was killed a few days ago. I'm taking his place. Well, I'm sorry. I, I was afraid something like that might happen before I could get here. You'll have to pardon me, ma'am, for busting in on you like this. But uh, Tom sent Yes, one. we know. You're the Pegas kid. Oh, well, that's right. Which brings us to a point, Mr. Pegas kid. Regarding the call you received from the late Mr. Jeffers. We've changed our Who's minds. Who's this? This is Mr. Slaughter, our railroad superintendent. Oh. You said something about changing your mind. About what? Miss Jeffers has decided... She will not continue with the plans made by her late father. I don't get it. What plans? Simply this. The Border States Railroad will not be needing your services after all. Yeah, but wait a minute. You see, I made a deal with Tom Jeffers. Oh, we understand that. And we're prepared to pay you in full for your services. Well, I get you now. But I don't think you get me. Tom Jeffers was a friend of mine. I came here to help him out. Not for money. Oh, we deeply appreciate the sentiment. Just a minute. I'm doing the talking here. I forbid you to meddle in this affair against my wishes. I promised your father that I'd stop this gang from operating that so-called ghost train over his lines. And I'm going to do it. See you later.
jumping G Hosafat, that beam bus with those hands. Why, there ain't even no lights on it. It's a go ghost train, all right. With my own eyes, I seen a spook at the throttle. That's enough for me. I'm getting out of here. Uh, me too. Wait a minute, you fellas. What's the matter with you? Uh, ain't nothing the matter. Yet. But the show will be if we stick around here now, Walter. Well, you boys are crazy. There's nothing spooky about that train. So why is that you for falling for a trick like that? A trick? Then you mean it ain't no ghost train? Of course it ain't. It's no different from any other train. Just somebody trying to pull a fast one, that's all. Well, who is? Well, I don't know yet. But I intend to find out. They're up to no good, that's a cinch. What do you plan on doing, Tex? We're gonna follow those tracks. Find out where that train went to. Yeah, it, it, we... Now? Well, you hit the nail right smack on the head, Ananias. Now, come on. Oh, but that's Tex. Can't we wait till tomorrow when it's daylight? We're going now. Tonight. When it ain't daylight. So we won't be seen, I hope. This reminds me of the night I killed two men in the graveyard. Boys, make them think there's a lot of us. Be careful, though, and don't hit them stairs. the way they're shooting. Yeah. Get this train. We've got to get out of here. Well, what about the cattle? Never mind the cattle. We can't get caught in this. Get up. Go on. All right. All aboard, men. We're pulling out. Get away. Yep, doggone it, they got away. Well, that's all right. They're safe for now. But I've learned enough tonight to know they won't be much longer. This reminds me of the time I led the charge at the Battle of Bull Run. Did you run? Well, uh, them that didn't is still there. Can't beat them. They'll break if you try it. I'll take my chances on that. It was my father's wish that we keep the road at any cost, and it's mine, too. Yes, but Sally, be reasonable, huh? What is it, Mason? It's that fellow, Miss Jeffers, the one who calls himself the Pecos Kid. He's here again. He says he wants to see you. Tell him I'm not interested in anything he has to say. Oh, yes, you are. I just found out something that might interest you. Well? That ghost train of yours, and it's not a ghost train at all. Oh, very clever deduction, but we already knew that. Oh. Anything else before you leave? Well, I, I found out what the game is. And I think I know who's running the thing. How do you know this? 
caught him in the act last night. Down the road a piece. They're wrestling cattle and using that train to haul them in. Why, that's impossible. The stock was checked this morning. Not a steer missing. Well, you don't have the only cattle in Arizona, you know. We chased away the gang and brought the stock in with us. They bear the Cross T brand. Ever hear of it? The Cross T? Oh yes, that's Bert Crumble's brand. Oh, by the way, he had a herd stolen last week. How soon can you positively identify these men you saw last night? Before you know it. All I need is a little more time. Oh, excuse me, Sally. I think I'll go and check up on this man's information. Well, have you changed your mind about letting me handle this thing for you? No, I haven't. You haven't? No. Looks like you've forced us to employ your services, whether we wish to or not, Mr. Pecos kid. Well, now, if you don't mind, uh, my name is Tex. Tex Stewart. I don't care what your name is. You're still a Pecos kid to me, and I don't approve of bandits or gunmen in any form. Well, now, Miss Sally, I wouldn't go so far as to say that. I'm not so bad. Why don't you get to know me? I'm afraid I wouldn't know about that. Now, if you don't mind, I'm busy. So am I. But you go right ahead. Uh, don't let me bother you. Will you please go? Sure, sure. Well, uh, why don't you? Well, I am. As soon as I finish reading this book. Stay here, then, and I'll go. Won't you be a true? Papa says I'm asking you And round the fallen cows upon the hill I says, old man, you're the best I've seen But I'd rather play my accordion And round me up some hundred dollar bill Oh, won't you be my buckaroo? Papa says I'm asking you and round that fall the cattle in the land. I says, old man, you're wrong, you are. I'd rather play my old guitar and sing about the roundups in a band. Oh, won't you be my buckaroo? Papa says I'm asking you and stop that cow from chasing me around. I says, old man, I would, you know, but I done put frozen on my bow and the fiddle just won't let me lay it down. Oh, Papa says, I'm asking you, won't you be my buckaroo around the fall, the doggies far and near. I says, old man, you're the best I got, but I'd rather play music good and hot, cause doggies are the wildest time of year. told me we wasn't supposed to be seen together. This is business. Important business. What's up? You guys ought to have your heads examined. Pulling a boy like that. Why didn't you finish him off when you had a chance? We would have. But how did we know it was the Pecos kid? Yeah, we thought it was some of the sheriff's men. That's right, boss. We didn't want to get caught with the goods, so we beat it. And let the Pecos kid come back with his crawl full of information, too. Well, the damage is done now. That much, anyhow. But we don't want to take any more chances. Pecos kid knows too much. We've got to get rid of him. Any ideas? That's your business. But be sure the job is done right. We don't want any more slip-ups. Don't worry. I've been aching to feed that guy a lot of lead ever since he got here. All right. Let's see you do it. Leave it to me. What are you going to do, Badger? This Pecos kid ain't no cream puff, you know. He's a plenty tough customer. So am I. 
There ain't no guy can make me take off my hat, say sir, and get by with it. You'll have to shoot him in the back to get him. No, I won't. There ain't no satisfaction in that. I'm going to have the pleasure of tying that guy in knots. Now, you fellas go out and find him. Tell him Slaughter wants to see him. Here. You don't get him, we will. Don't worry. Go on. Find him. There's a rule when I come to serenade a lady, she shows up on time. What are you doing here? I just told you. I come to give you a serenade. Oh, that's sweet of you, but I'm not interested in serenades just now. Well, you should be in this one. I lugged this guitar all the way from town just so you could listen to it. I repeat, I'm not interested. Well, that's what you say now, but uh, wait till you hear it. If I listen, will you promise to go away as soon as you finish? Sure. After I finish, uh, that is, if you want me to, I've saved the seat for you. Hey, you, you look kind of pretty. You ask me where I'm going So early in the dawn I'm just a traveler roving Just a roaming on I've looked this old world over Many times have searched in vain For a spot that seems like heaven to me And I long to be again I'm gone to hide away Out beside the Utah Trail Moonlight is bright as day Far out on that Utah trail That's where I'll settle down in peace Where all is still In a little hut just built for two Tucked away in the heart of the hill Beneath the skies of blue In the golden summer time Out where all friends are true And all nature is in rhyme Someone is waiting With a love that never fails Waiting patiently to welcome me far out on that you torture. Well, how'd you like it? You played the guitar very well. <laughs> oh. All right, you win. You mean the feud's over? I suppose, at least for the time being. Well, you must admit, it isn't very inviting being serenaded by a notorious killer like you. You think I'm as bad as all that? Well, aren't you? What would you say if I told you that uh, I wasn't the Pecos kid? Nothing. I doubt if it would change matters any. I would respect you more if that's what you mean. Well, of course, I can't blame you for feeling the way you do about it, Miss Sally. A few things I can't explain to you right now. But I would like to be your friend. I was your father's friend, you know. Yes, sir. I know. How about a glass of lemonade? Good. Uh, that is, if you don't think it'll go to my head. <laughs> Not the kind I make. <laughs> you know, Pete, uh, being here like this reminds me of the time I was a scout with Buffalo Bill. I was a guard and I heard of his buffalo one night when a whole band of bloodthirsty Indians snuck up behind me. I yanked up my gun and I whirled and I said, <laughs> <laughs> Hello, fellas. What are you doing around these cows? Why, well, you see, I, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we're just looking around. Where's your partner, the Pecos kid? 
Why, he's, uh, <coughs> uh, I don't know. Well, you'd better find him. I have an important message for him. Important message? Who from? Harm Slaughter, superintendent of the railroad. He wants to see him at the Oasis Saloon right away. All right. We'll tell him when we see him. You'll tell him right now. Go on, get going and find him. But, but we can't. We can't leave the corral. He told us to stay here and guard the cattle. Don't worry about that. We'll guard the cattle till you get back. But I... I, I you heard me. Get going. Yes, sir. I don't like you. Why, you... They'll find him all right. You know, something tells me these cattle ain't gonna be around here very long. If I could ever find out where their hideout is, the place where they're keeping that ghost train and the cattle they've been rustling, I could bust this thing open and nothing flat. <laughs> But I... Tex! 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 Them fellers, they're at it again. What fellers? The ones we had to run in with the other day. Oh. Say, why don't you boys down to the corral guarding them cattle like I told you? Uh, that's just it. They run us off. So as we could bring you a message. Yeah, it's from Mr. Slaughter. What does he want? I don't know. But they said it's important. He's waiting for you at the Oasis Saloon. The Oasis Saloon? Sounds kind of fishy to me. Yeah. Just fishy enough to bear a little looking into. Yeah. You mean to go in there, you Tex? Now, Ananias, you know that I never pass up an opportunity to have a little fun. But you can't go, Tex. It's too dangerous. <laughs> I'll see you later, Miss Sally. The Oasis Saloon? That doesn't sound like Hiram Slaughter. Are you sure this isn't a trap of some kind? Well, if it is, I'll try to spring it while they're not looking. Come on, boys, let's go down and see what the Oasis Saloon has to offer. Oh, but Tex, wait! Oh, doggone it! Tex, you can't go in there. It's like walking into a lion's den. You might get killed. Oh, be quiet, Anna. This be just the break we've been waiting for. Take this kid now. Watch me pin his ears now. Hello, Pegas. Howdy. I was told that Harm Slaughter wanted to see me here. Well, now, who could have told you that? That man right over there told us. I'll handle this, Pee Wee. All right, what's on your mind? Oh, nothing much. Pull up a chair and sit down. I'll stand. Come on, what do you want to see me about? Well, as long as you put it that way, I want you to get out of town as quick as you can and stay out. Or I'll... Oh, what? Well, uh, I'll show you what. I hope that you're a better shot with a six-gun than you are with a glass of whiskey. Well, if that won't make you fight, maybe this one.
Let's get it. That's where you are, all of it. And an ass, Pee Wee. Where are you? Here we are, Tex. Get to your horses and keep the front door covered. We'll be waiting for you, Tex. While he's riding and a roping I'm a mighty good horse for a mighty good boss He always treats me kindly I'm a-doing my best And before I go west I'll have many miles behind me Yes, old pal, you are faithful A dog in cattle all day now it's time to be riding, so we'll saddle and be on our way. He's a mighty good horse with a mighty good boss, going riding on the prairie. And I know if your boss is as good as his horse, a mighty good how will you be? Tex! Uh, what's the matter, boys? You, you see another ghost? Uh, you ain't far wrong. We just found that fella, Mr. Mason. He's down there by the corral in the railroad yard, and he's dead. Mason? Any idea who did it? We think it's the same fellas we had all that trouble with. Because all them cows we took from them is missing. They must be getting pretty desperate to pull a stunt as open as that. Mason knew something that... Who else knows about this? Nobody but us. So far. Good. Now keep quiet and don't tell a soul what you found. The longer it takes the sheriff to find out what happened, the better our chances will be to work undercover. Oh, sure, Tex. You know us. We never tell nobody nothing. Yeah, I know you had a nice. You never tell nobody nothing. Except when your mouth's open. That's most of the time. You're right. That's most... Oh, Tex. <laughs> Go ahead, Ananias. Tell Tex what else we found out. Oh, yes, that's right. It's about that, that ghost train. We found out it ain't never been seen west of Desert Wells. Say, that's interesting. That means it must disappear someplace east of Desert Wells. That's exactly what we figured. And Desert Wells is almost to the border. I got it. What is it? You'll find out. Come on. As soon as we get word from Barton, we'll be pulling out of here. Giant, take Hank, some of the boys, and put back the square. Okay, Badger. Come on, Hank. Well, we couldn't be very far from Desert Wells. <laughs> the way we've been riding, I bet we passed it. Look. It's 
Got some of Badger's men? Well, yeah, I know that fella. I burned his Wait, wait, wait a minute. You got plenty of time? That's okay. I will hurry back to camp. Go over and take a look. Well, that's why the ghost train has never been seen beyond Desert Wells. Well, what do you mean, Tex? Well, this track hasn't been connected in years. They're sidetracking the ghost train across the border in the Hidden Valley. We're using that spur. Come on. Where are you going? We got a little investigating to do. The mystery of the ghost train. Solved. Well, I'll be hornswoggled. That's her, all right. Well, that's pretty smart. Nobody'd ever know that Hidden Valley was here unless they just stumbled onto it like we did. And it leads right into their hideout. Safe across the border. Hey, you reckon this is the place where they've been taking them cattle they rustled? This is the place, all right. And they couldn't have found a neater spot. Boy, we better get back and tell the sheriff right away. We're going back to town, all right, Pee Wee. And we're taking the train with us. What? what? Be sure your guns are loaded. Hey, Badger, do you know it's getting late? Yeah. All right, let's go, boy. You mind if I go along? <laughs> the Pikus Kid. What you think? Get your horses. We'll take the shortcut through the pass. We've got to beat them into town. Hi, right, Walter. Hello, Don. Your boys got back quick. Did you get the cattle through all right? I don't know. We didn't wait to find out. We didn't wait. Thought I gave you strict orders to stay there until that train was loaded. We couldn't. Something else turned up. We ran into the Pecos kid again. What happened? Plenty. He got away with a ghost train. You fools. 
That's the worst thing that could have happened. If he brings that train into town, he's sure going to do it. Our game is up. Why didn't you stop him? We wanted to, but Badger wouldn't let us. So you're responsible for letting him get away, huh? Sure I am. Why not? The whole country's up in arms against the guys running that train. Now the Baker's kid has a rep as an outlaw. Let him bring it in. He'll take the rap for some of the jobs we pulled. That'll get him out of the way. It takes the law off of our necks long enough. We can make a clean up and head into Mexico like we planned. Not a bad idea. Nice work, Badger. But we're going to have to work fast. He'll be pulling that train into town any minute. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go over to the sheriff myself. <laughs> Sheriff, the Pecos kid is the man we're looking for. Well, if everything you say is true, he's the rustler who's been terrorizing this part of the country for the past couple of months. We know he is, and I demand his arrest. You're sure he's headed into Sandman City with the train now, huh? Positive. My men saw him and followed him. Should be here any minute. What I can't understand is why he would come into town. He might know he's sticking his neck right into the hangman's noose. No, he thinks he's being smart. Came to us a few days ago with a long story about being commissioned by Tom Jeffers to bring in the ghost train rustlers. We turned him down, of course. But he said he would do it anyhow. He figures he'll make us think that he captured the train and killed off the rustlers himself, eh? Huh? That's right. Thus clearing himself and collecting a fat reward to boot. Pretty slick idea. It's a good thing you got wise to him and... That's the ghost train now. Round up the boys and meet me at the railroad station as quick as you can. Come on. Well, we're nearly there, Pee Wee. You better get ready to stop. Me? I can't stop it. You stop it. All right. All right, over here. That's right. Now then, boys, have your guns ready for trouble. This Pecos kid is a tough customer. He'll nail him the minute he comes in. Well, looks like the whole town turned out to meet us. Well, I got a little present for you. Well, I've got a little present for you. You're under arrest, Mr. Pecos, kid. You heard me. Get him up. Well, I don't get this, Sheriff. What's it all about? What have I done? Enough to get you and your pals here a nice little ride on the end of a rope. Well, Sheriff, you don't think that... I think plenty. Come on. Wait a minute. Sally, you know how I stand in this thing. Tell the Sheriff that... Better move along, kid. Come on. Well, I guess that takes care of him. Come on. Oh, once there was a cow hen, a cow hen tan and brown, who found a lot of pleasure in the shooting up the town. People often told him that he would land in jail. And that is just what happened, and boy how he did wail. Give me back my saddle, give me back my gun. I should be a riding, there's hurting to be done. Give me back my saddle, please don't make me wait. You don't know my foreman, he'll fire me if I'm late. 
Sheriff, let me wander. Sheriff, set me free. I belong out yonder. This jail's no place for me. Please don't hold me longer. It was all in fun. Give me back my saddle and give me back my gun. The sheriff was hard-hearted. He said, the law's the law. You'll dine on bread and water and have a bed of straw. Of a crime you're guilty, for that is why you're here. And you will sure be lucky to get out in a year. I will keep the saddle. I will keep your gun. If I let you have them, you're bound to hurt someone. You must learn a lesson. You will be confined. If you think you won't be, you soon will change your mind. I'll perform my duty. You will have to stay. For a week from Tuesday will be election day. Boys, there is a moral to this tragic tale. Just before election, you can't get out of jail. How in tarnation can you sit there singing songs like that at a time like this? It's downright sinful. Trouble with you, Ananias, you're too serious. But they tell me that this hanging is a cinch. Wants to get used to it. Don't talk like that. You give me the creeps. Me too. Howdy, boy. Howdy, Sheriff. Come on in. Come in. Don't mind if I do. Say, is that door being unlocked all the time? Sure. You don't think I'd lock the door on Tex, do you? No. But Tex and me is old friends. My door's always open to him. You mean to tell me that door's been unlocked all the time? Sure. Say, what kind of a jail is this anyway? Well, now that depends on the prisoner. In Texas case, it's a pretty good one. You see, boys, uh, we're really not prisoners at all. We're not? No, we're just supposed to be. And we're not going to be hung after all? No. Doggone it, that's just my luck. Uh, huh? Well, I can hang you if you want me to. Oh, no, I, I reckon we'd better just let things stand like they are. <laughs> Anything doing yet? Oh, a little too soon. But if things work as we plan, we ought to see some action by nightfall. Say, what is all this? Well, you see, Pee Wee, ever since I was sent here by the state to investigate this ghost train business, Sheriff Clayton and I have been working together. We're trying to force Slaughter and his men into the open so we can nail him with the goods. Then that arrest this afternoon was a phony? Sheriff, the First National Bank's just been robbed. Robbed, eh? They went to work sooner than I thought they would. This, that's the ghost train. We'll have to step on it. Get your guns. Your horses are outside. We'll organize a posse and meet by the tracks just out of town. All right, Sheriff. It looks like we're in for a fight.
Hey, nice going, Tex. We sure put them fellas down on the edge of the hurry, didn't we? Well, I see you took care of Slaughter all right. Yes, sir, I, I don't think you'll have any more trouble from him. I don't know how I'm ever going to be able to thank you, Tex. You've certainly been a big help to me in rounding up this bunch of killers and rustlers. I don't thank me. Thank the Rangers. They're the ones that sent us here to do the job. And besides, it was that idea of yours of forcing them into the open, of slapping us into jail on that phony charge that turned the trick. And you know, it, uh, it kind of got me in bad with a certain party. I... So if you don't mind, I think I'll go see if I can clear my good name. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Moonlight is bright as day. Far out on that Utah trail That's where I'll settle down in peace Where all is still In a little hut just built for two Tucked away in the heart of the hill There neath the skies of blue in the golden summer time Out where all friends are true And all nature is in rhyme Someone is waiting With a love that never fails Waiting patiently to welcome me 